All right, Revenants, uh, here is uh, kind of part two for um, the uh, Blood Red Army uh, build. And uh, today, uh, or whenever, whatever, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, a bayonet build that uh, kind of, uh, you know, continues killing and continues on healing at the same exact time. Uh, so you can, with this build, uh, you can outkill... Uh, you can he out heal the damaging effects of supernatural blood. Um, so it's all dependent on lifesteal, interacting with cleansing light, while at the same time having supernatural blood. So we uh, are paired up here with uh, the drain rating uh, being very high in uh, the second highest blood veil here in the game, in the Ivory Grace, as that has a 1.35, uh, which, uh, as we know, is times 9, so 1.35 times 9 is uh, 12 and a bit, 12.15. Uh, uh, I-core back on a backstab, so if in the event that we're running low on health and such, uh, we can just go for a bunch of backstabs and uh, get all of our I-core back if we need. In in uh, light of that as well, we also have the Brionic Devour, as that has a very monstrous uh, drain rating. Now this is times 1.8, not 9. Uh, on a regular slash, on a charge, it's 4.5, so multiply those numbers out, and you come up with the different values there. Uh, to recover I-Court. Now here, uh, the entire setup is going to be built on basically shooting. Uh, so there's not going to be a whole lot of anything else. It's going to be mainly uh, mainly simply shooting the enemy. Uh, now we have to pair up here and get a couple of backstabs as we go. Now we are going to run here at the beginning. We are going to run uh, solo, as that will be uh, kind of a good way to show uh, how we uh, go ahead and uh, get ourselves going here. Okay, and uh, since through here everybody is weak to uh, pierce, uh, this is a great uh, a great way to uh, show this off. So there's uh, 5,000, and we're not even uh, kind of to our full potential yet. So before everybody gets out of hand here, we'll go for a backstab, and then we will uh, back up here. Whoops. Okay, let's go for uh, ranged impact, and we'll shoot this guy. Okay, we'll take him down. 7,200. Okay. Okay, whoops. Oh, yep, we're taking some damage there. Okay, let's kill that thing. And let's go ahead and shoot this one. Let's kill that thing. Now we're still getting 5% back uh, on a kill. 5% uh, health, that is, uh, back on a kill. So that's very, very good. And uh, Cleansing Light and um, uh, Supernatural Blood will be used in uh, very... Uh, unique circumstances to say the least uh, and over here we have a couple of fellas uh, as we can go for this guy and get some icor back uh, on a backstab if we can get it whoops okay oh good grief uh, okay so we can uh, go for a uh, launch now uh, as we are here and why not okay so that'll kill okay so let's go ahead and heal one and, and we'll get 5% uh, of our health back now, uh, it's pretty difficult to get all of your gifts going um, all at once, simply because of the fact that uh, you need to be able to have monstrous stocks of i -Corp, as we need 10, 20, 8, and uh, I don't remember how much uh, this one is. It's uh, 5 i -Corp, so 33, uh, 38, um, 43... Uh, 48 and Cognitive Zeal, I believe, is 4 i uh, So that's 52 i that we need um, before we can be at maximum potential. So uh, it does have some uh, startup time here. However, when we get to uh, max power, uh, we will be able to simply uh, do this and shoot uh, anyone at a distance uh, regardless of who they are. Now, uh, the key to this is just don't get hit like uh, pretty much all the other uh, builds and everything. And we'll go ahead and shoot this guy. But as you see there, uh, we have um, m more, more, more than enough uh, ability here to uh, go ahead and uh, shoot people. And we'll shoot her. And she's a one shot. Okay. And uh, if we uh, go for it. So we have five shots left. Uh, so here we'll go for her. Okay. And then uh, her will go for a uh, will go for a backstab and try and go for uh, supernatural blood here, or or at least uh, cleansing light. Good. And maybe another backstab. Maybe another backstab. There we go. Now we lost uh, overdrive because we got hit, um, but uh, that's okay. So we'll go for supernatural blood. Now we have eight I core left, so that's very good. As we can uh, 
um, go for uh, overdrive. Okay, so now we are at kind of full potential here, so we'll go ahead and shoot this thing. Okay, and we'll go for a uh, um, activator there. A, uh, okay, and we'll shoot this guy. <laughs> He's a one-shot. Um, okay, and remember this is on uh, the hardest difficulty in the game, and uh, we absolutely have uh, no problem uh, going through these enemies. Okay, what is going on here with my phone? Sorry about that. Okay, let's uh, turn that off. Okay, and uh, so if we uh, head on into a sort of a boss thing here, uh, we can go ahead and since we have supernatural blood going, uh, we can go for a couple of buffs here and uh, it doesn't hurt us too bad as we get 75% uh, of that health back um, every time we uh, go ahead and buff up. Okay, and we'll go for uh, a couple of things here. There we go. There we go. And we'll go for gift extension and we'll go ahead and heal because why not? And we'll heal again. Okay, and here we go. One, two, three. Or he only took two shots, actually, so uh, that's very good uh, that he only took two shots. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, missile back here. So that's kind of how you would adventure with this build, um, and uh, let's see how it bosses. Now, when it bosses, um, the uh, friend that you would want to go for, obviously, is uh, you would want to go for Louis because he adds... Um, another stack of overdrive, albeit uh, not as potent as your personal stack of overdrive, but uh, this is definitely a great, 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 great way to um, increase your damage even further. So here, if we are going to boss, we are going to boss the right way. Okay, so here we go. Alright, and we'll go for all the long uh, buffs first, uh, and uh, save the uh, short buffs for later. Okay. And while we can heal, we're definitely going to go for uh, healing, uh, regaining i -Core for now. Okay, and let's go for this. Alright, and let's go ahead and do this. And one more. Alright, and then we will go for this. And one more. And then let's go for uh, Time Crunch. Where is Time Crunch? Here we go. Okay, now we are fully going. And uh, Louis gave us all of our stuff uh, there as well. So, uh, in we go. Okay. Let's see where he's at now. So he's at almost half health. Okay. All right. Let's go for a drain, uh, an accelerator here. Oh, we missed him. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's go for a shot. So uh, a couple of shots there, and uh, you know we we bayonet uh, our way into victory. Um, so this is the uh, Har Harmonia Blood Code, and uh, the reason it can uh, do so well. Um, is because of uh, supernatural blood drains 5% per i core of your health, um, as well as uh, as well as uh, life steal regains 5% of health uh, on a kill. But uh, because of uh, cleansing light, it restores 75% of the health you lose. So you um, you lose 75% of your health um, of of 5% of your health. So for harmonia, that would be 155. Uh, health that you would lose. You would lose 155 health uh, and you would get back, uh, sorry, you would get back 116 of that health. So you would only lose um, 39, about 38, 39 health. And then if you kill an enemy, um, you would get 158 or 155 health back. Um, so you would regain the 100 and what, what did I say? 116 uh, plus the 155 from the kill, so you would actually regain 271 health, uh, which means that you can outpace uh, the damaging effect of um, of supernatural blood. So you can outpace the the regen on on that uh, gift. Uh, so let's go ahead and see here uh, how that actually looks, and uh, we'll go for uh, this, and we'll go for cleansing light uh, because why not? And you can see here that here we're just gonna go ahead and use our uh, gifts uh, as as uh, we need. We can just heal up here, and we'll go for a charge booster. Okay, and uh, you'll see here we'll lose uh, we'll lose some health, and then we'll get a whole bunch back. So we'll lose some health, but we get more back. So as long as we get the kill, um, we can. Uh, as you see here, we're here. Uh, regaining. Uh, whoops, we are regaining health. Uh, and there, I took two shots. 
and I still uh, was able to regain health faster than the um, damage was uh, coming out of us. Uh, so let's uh, head on up here as we uh, can go for um, a boss with this up here and uh, even though we're not going to be able to kill him uh, we'll, we'll still be able to keep up with the uh, with the damage necessary okay and uh, we'll go for um, uh, this and we'll go for a time crunch okay and uh, let's go okay it's just a one shot so anyways um, this is completely uh, completely overpowered for um, any <laughs> any kind of uh, area that you're going to go up against. However, uh, places where you are going to be um, up against uh, piercing enemies will be the most effective as the bayonet is a piercing weapon. So if you're in somewhere uh, where pierce is not good, for example, um, the memories pierce is not good there, you want to be doing slash and crush um, as the uh, Queen's Knight is uh, weak to crush. Uh, however, the Queen's Knight Reborn is weak to Slash. Whoops, what am I doing? Uh, so, uh, areas that this would be good would be the Underground, um, the Ruined City Underground. This is exceptionally good here. It's not good in the um, Butterfly Nest, as this is uh, all Slash through here. Everything through here is Slash. You want to be doing Slash, not Pierce. Um, it's also uh, not too good here in the uh, in the Howling Pit, except for uh, against the, um, the Water Dude that uh, has the Water Burst. Uh, you all know who that is, I'm sure. Here in the dried up trenches, it would do okay because it, it is uh, it does have the blood attack, uh, so that could be acceptable. In the cathedral of the blood, of the sacred blood, this would do exceptionally well. As every enemy through here is weak to pierce, uh, this would absolutely wreck those enemies. Again, not so good in the memories. Uh, it would do okay in the in the ridge here, uh, but these guys are weak to slash as well. It would do exceptionally well versus Nicola because he's weak to pierce. Uh, it would do exceptionally well in the Ashen Cavern, as everybody in here is weak to pierce. Here it would do okay in the city, um, but you want to be doing Ice Crush through here, uh, as well as some Slash. Um, in the Crown of Sand, it would not do particularly well as, as far as weaknesses go. I mean, it will it will uh, do very well anywhere. Uh, and the Crypt Spire, it would do very well. Uh, the Government Center, it would do okay. And the Government, uh, the Provisional uh, government center it would do uh, very very well as uh, you have the uh, Cerberus troops and they are weak to pierce uh, so let's go to the um, let's go to the cathedral here uh, let's see um, uh, where would be a good place to start I guess uh, I guess we'll just go to the beginning and uh, you can see how uh, how it'll do versus the um, the golden knights and the uh, big chunky ladies as uh, it can uh, completely wreck their day. Um, so this is a great, great, great way to go about seeing um, just uh, how effective you can be in killing while at the same time uh, having enough health regen that if you don't get hit, I mean obviously you don't want to be in the fight, but since you're shooting at a distance with a bayonet, uh, you should definitely have the ability to uh, get the damage out on the enemy. Now in the event that you don't have a uh, Libertador, uh, that's kind of unfortunate, um, but you could go for the Argent, uh, the Argent, uh, the Argent Bayonet, the Argent Wolf Bayonet Intensified, as that will be at a, uh, just under the, um, 40 pound mark here to keep you quick. If you go for the Intense, uh, the, uh, Fortified, this is more damage than the Intensified. Uh, you don't know it from the card, but it is, uh, for shots. But uh, I don't I don't have one of those as I've only gotten two and I did a uh, devour version and a uh, bayonet um, fortified version. But the intensified version would do pretty good damage as well, uh, and it would keep you under the uh, 40 pound mark. Uh, also, the rubellite piercer is pretty good um, as it keeps you under the 40 pound mark as well. Um, but it's definitely not anything like the libertador. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and see here how we do against um, uh, the golden warriors here. All right, and uh, we'll get ourselves uh, going here. Okay, go for supernatural blood first, so we can uh, go for um, all our gifts, and uh, obviously we can heal, uh, not a problem uh, for us at all, and uh, it's just faster at this point to go ahead and heal. Okay, and since Louis gave us his, whoops, and since Louis gave us his uh, stack there, we'll see what we do. So 9,500, that's pretty good. 
Okay, so two shots, and uh, we get 75% uh, of that health back, so we lost about 76 health, and then we got 155 back from killing her. Uh, so we definitely have uh, have the damage. And the life steal. So there's two shots, and third shot, and we get 155 back. Okay, so uh, even versus the big ladies um, and so on and so forth, uh, we can uh, put them down very quickly, very easily. We can regain the health that we just spent uh, because of Cleansing Light, and it regains faster. Uh, the 75% of the 155 health uh, regains faster than we can actually lose it, um, So, or faster than we can shoot, so we will always uh, have uh, regen happening uh, in the background. Uh, where is this fella? There we go. Let's shoot him. Whoops. That was a, a regular shot. And there's a charge shot. So see there, we were at 2659, I believe, and now we're at 2736. Uh, so we are able to uh, actually heal ourselves while bayoneting um, at a distance as long as supernatural blood and cleansing light are active. Uh, the minute those are not active, uh, we're going to have some problems. But there's enough missiles through places um, like the uh, like the cathedral here and stuff that uh, you shouldn't have a problem healing up uh, at the different missiles uh, all through the uh, areas that you come across. Uh, so this would be um, kind of the ultimate adventuring build as you can heal off of it uh, you and you can continue shooting and Louis is just there for um, extra damage. Um, so one I core. This is this is the power of the build, as you saw there on those uh, ladies. Um, 9,500 damage for one I core is uh, what what that's costing us. And uh, this is the most I core efficient uh, way to um, the, the 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 most uh, I core return on damage damage per I core. I guess you could say this is uh, there's nothing else in the game that can get you. Um, this this amount of return on spending one I core and you get uh, 9,500 damage. Uh, there's nothing else in the game like it. So uh, this would definitely be a great way if you're looking to bayonet red. Uh, this is how uh, you could do it. And again, pair up with Louis as he gives you uh, more damage. So thank you everyone. And this has been the uh, blood blood red army uh, um, the blood red army uh, bayoneting uh, guide to how to. Uh, get the most bang for your buck, so to speak. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.